Hi, my name is Kathy and I'm a bicyclist and we make cycling shorts here. And one of the questions we always have is, is why is this called a chamois pad? And I'm here to tell you the answer to that question. They used to be made out of a leather, a chamois leather. And so what we did at that time is we had these pads made out of leather and we would put them in our bike shorts and we would create a slip with some kind of lubricant like Vaseline. And the problem with a leather chamois pad is that over time they would start to get dry. And so what we did is we evolved into a synthetic material similar to this and we started to add these synthetics to the front, a modesty panel for men. But the problem with this pad was that this seam was right on the nerve and there was some abrasion on the seams and so we had to take some enhancements and one of the things that we did to prevent it from being dry is we started to use these high-end materials. This is an ultra suede, it simulates the leather, it's the color, color of leather, and then these wicking materials. And so as we started to take this into the next generation, we started to create these kind of pads like this is a pro pad, so it's a little bit thicker in the center, it's thinner on the side, so you're not chafing on the side, it fits the anatomy of the body. This is an anti-chafe pad, it's still very popular, a lot of loyal customers love our pro pad. From the pro pad we started to get into the seamless idea and so the idea is that if you eliminate all the seams in your saddle area it starts to prevent some of the chafing but you can see there's no real definition it's just a foam pad. So the next generation that we do is we take these little um, compressions and we laminate a perforated breathable dense pad right where you need it. This is a woman's pad it's got the density right where a woman needs it to push in the cycling. And continuing to make improvements, what we do here is we have the insets. These are sewn in and this gives you the curve around the legs so that you can get between these curves of the legs. It's got the channel cut out for the nerve for men. It's got the thick density where you need the sit bones. It's got a modesty panel in the front. This would be a man's chamois pad. And this leads us to the chamois pads that we have nowadays. This is our newest chamois pad. You can see here it's got uh, multiple pieces like a puzzle all fitted together, laminated, perforated so it's breathable. It's got the pads for your bones. It's got the channel cut out for a man's nerve. And you can see here the difference between the women's and the men's. The women is wider and the men is a little more narrow and this has to do with the width of the sit bones. The men's have the channel and the women's do not. They have a little pillow here. So I hope this helps to answer the question on why they're called a chamois pad. Thanks for watching.